Now as we can see I am able to smell Constantine. This is it guys. Hello guys, I am Sadamo the Bears and uh, today I will show you just a little bit different approach to uh, smelting some alloys. I have this furnace right here outside my base and I have my gas fuel generator right here. So let me show you something. I will input these resources inside the furnace. And I will try to smelt Constantin, which is alloy, uh, copper, and uh, nickel. So a little bit more copper, and we can try it. Now I will pump out uh, the gases from the furnace. So now I will take my welder uh, fuel canister and I will start the gas fuel generator. The gas fuel generator is producing uh, hot gases. I will capture these gases with this pipe and I will use them as an input uh, into the furnace. So we will get hot gases inside the furnace and we will get a lot of temperature inside. It looks like this. The temperature is rising. The pressure is rising as well. And the benefit is I am charging my batteries as well. After my batteries will be charged, then I will try to smell uh, the constant end, and I will try to explain next step of energy recuperation. I will wait for the batteries and then I am going back to the furnace. I was speaking about this step or about this small idea yesterday uh, during my stream on Twitch and I tried it first time and it works. And it works even better than I expected. So my batteries are fully charged. So I stopped my gas fuel generator and let's melt Constantin. This tank right here has uh, colder gases inside from previous smelting which I did during my stream so I will use these colder gases for cooling down my furnace and we should be able to smelt Constantin now as we can see I am able to smelt Constantin This is it guys. I just did it and it works. So if I want to smelt steel right now, I can. I have the resources for smelting steel right here. I will input them into the furnace. 10 coal. And 30 iron. Now I will get steel. Now I will go inside my greenhouse, which is empty right now, or it should be empty. And I will try to explain the next step. Let's say your greenhouse is uh, full of CO2, which is maybe minus 60, minus 50 and you need to heat it up so I am just guessing everybody will use wall coolers but these wall coolers they are using a lot of energy and when you want to increase the temperature from 
minus 60 to let's say to 15 or 20 degrees and you want to be able to grow some plants it is very difficult on Mars and you will use a lot of energy and you have to wait for a very long time so the idea of energy recuperation is you will capture these gases from the furnace in a tank like this or even in a large tank and you will keep it somewhere if you want to heat up your greenhouse very fast and efficient you will have some pipes going through your greenhouse with radiators and you will fill that pipe with radiators with hot gases from the furnace so you will get a lot of heat inside the greenhouse uh, very fast when the greenhouse will hit the temperature desired you will stop the input to that pipe with radiators which is inside your greenhouse and you will use a volume pump or something else to pump out all the gases from that pipe which is heating your greenhouse so basically what you will do you will use welder fuel to recharge your batteries let's say I have my batteries right here while you are charging your batteries you can smelt your alloys if you want of course and after you will smelt your alloys inside the furnace because you were not using the fuel or volatiles and oxides you were using just the exhaust gases from the gas fuel generator which is mostly uh, just a waste otherwise you will you will pump it into your filtration system and you will probably cool it down but you will use this waste from this gas fuel generator to smelt the alloys and after that you can even heat up your greenhouse so that's the idea of energy recuperation so basically you will squeeze every single energy unit from this welder fuel right here charging battery making heat for your furnace heating up your greenhouse and that's how to do it I am not saying that's the most comfortable way how to do it I am not saying that's the most efficient way how to do it I am just saying it works and if you find it interesting you can try it on your own so, thank you very much for watching.